Hello, so my name is Johan Falk. I live in Stockholm, Sweden. You've probably seen my first few videos before uh, dealing with uh, dice and, well, in general, coding stuff that might be useful when developing board games. Uh, in this series of videos, we're going to look at uh, uh, dealing with cards or uh, managing cards with code. And, uh, well, in the process of doing that, also learning more about how to use uh, uh, scripting with Google Spreadsheets. So here I have a number of magic cards uh, fetched somewhere from the interwebs uh, with uh, a lot of data for, well, some of the data for the cards, like uh, the color of the cards, some kind of rank number, uh, flavor text, the mana cost, uh, stuff, uh, power, toughness, you name it type of cards. We're going to be working with these cards uh, in Google scripting and we're going to in this video learn how to fetch data from a Google spreadsheet into the code we're, we're using. So I'm going to uh, open the script editor here. And now this is a new spreadsheet so the uh, code will be empty which is just what I want going to delete this function and now for this time we're just going to uh, read the data into into the code so i'm going to create a function function uh, read card data something like this and when using google spreadsheets there are a number of or google scripting <coughs> in general <coughs> sorry there are a number of cool functions you can learn how to use called libraries packages of, of a lot of functions that are uh, pre-made for you to, to uh, have easily available. And one of this, uh, one of these functions are used to, well, one of, the, one of these libraries are used to uh, work together with spreadsheets. So I'm gonna create a variable uh, card data equals, and then I'm gonna call something called spreadsheet app. And this is a big chunk of things uh, dealing with spreadsheet stuff. Spreadsheet app dot get active spreadsheet. And this is a function actually. Uh, uh, get sheet by name. And then I'm going to enter the name of the sheet, with, which is sheet one. And then I'm going to get get range. And then I'm going to enter the range with all the data, which goes from A2, cell A2, to P403. There are different ways of, of entering this. You can set the number of columns and rows instead, but this is one way of doing it. And then finally, I'm going to get uh, type get values, which is also a function, which means we should have these parentheses. OK. So this is uh, almost done. Let's try save this. And now we're going to see something interesting and important when, when uh, coding uh, in the Google uh, Suite suit. Run this function, and it will say, hey, I need your permission. Let's see. First time you run uh, a script, it takes a little while. And that is because things are being prepared in the background. Authorization required. Review permissions. Which account? This is me. This is not a Google verified app. If you want to approve it, you have to click advanced. Go to this project and allow. This says uh, that this, uh, if you accept this, the script can actually access all your Google spreadsheets which is uh, triggered by this blob here, this thing saying spreadsheet app, because from this packages of, of functions, you can get access to all the spreadsheets you have in your Google Drive. This is your, uh, if you're typing this code yourself, it's fine. Um, you should be aware that if you mess something up, you could like fetch uh, spreadsheets from all your spreadsheets and accidentally delete them. But accidentally doing that is, well, then you have to dive pretty deep into what you can do with Google scripting. So, okay, uh, what is happening here? I uh, create a variable and get the data from all the magic cards. Let's have a look at this uh, variable. 
debugger. Let me debug this. <clears throat> Card data. This is an array. Oops. With 402 elements. So one element for each row. It so happens that each element in this array is also an array with 16 values, one value for each column. So the first one here is the first row. Not very strange. Okay. Uh, so we get an array of arrays. So this is uh, not only a list of stuff, but more like a table of stuff, which makes sense uh, if you import stuff from a spreadsheet. Um, okay, I'm going to do one more thing or two more things before we uh, wrap this up. First, create a comment, uh, reads card data from the spreadsheet. Secondly, this get range thing, whenever you have particular stuff um, added inside your code, you should consider putting it somewhere easily accessible. So I'm going to create a variable here, let uh, card data range equal A2 to P403. And here I'm going to use this variable instead, card data range. <clears throat> if I want to use this at, at some other place, I will refer back to this variable and I will change the value at one place only. I could do the same thing here with a sheet name. I'm not doing that because I'm not planning on going very far with this particular project. So I, I just keep everything in one sheet. <clears throat> but if you uh, want to uh, copy this and take it further yourself, consider uh, changing this into a variable so you can just change which, which sheet you want to use. All right, uh, that's it. I'll see you in another uh, video. And then we're going to, I think, talk about objects, important part of uh, coding in JavaScript. See you there.